Use the distributed property to find this product. Use a generic area model to organize your work if needed. Uh, for this one, I'm definitely going to use a generic area model or an area model. So I've got a trinomial. There's three parts times a binomial, two parts. So I'm going to look at this as 5x squared plus 2x plus a 4. And then down on the other side, I'm going to write the x and the negative 2. So I hope you can see where this is coming from. 5x squared plus 2x plus 4 is across my top. That's this dimension. And then down on my side dimension, I've got this x plus 3, and or, I'm sorry, x minus 2. And yeah, here is the x and then the minus 2. So inside of these, I'm just finding the area of each of these tiny little rectangles. Uh, the first one, I've got 5x squared times x. That's 5x squared times another x, which is 5x cubed. Going one to the right, I've got uh, 2x times an x, which is 2x squared. And then finally, 4 times an x is 4x. Down below, all the way over on the left, I've got a negative 2 times 5x squared, which is negative 10, and then x squared. And then I've got a negative 2 times a 2x, which is negative 4x. And then finally, I've got a negative 2 times a 4, which is a negative 8. So I have some like terms, and you can see these like terms. Um, I've got, these are x squareds. I've got two of them, and I've also got... Uh, 10x squareds. Those can be combined, uh, and I will combine them. And the other one that I have here is I've got this 4x, and I've got a negative 4x, and I'm going to combine those. That actually turns out to be 0 uh, when I combine them. So if I'm going to write this um, this answer down right here as the sum of the parts, I've already got here the product of the dimensions, but as the sum of the parts, when I simplify this, I'm looking at 5 times x cubed and then I've got a negative 10x squared plus two more, which would be a negative 8x squared. Uh, and when I combine 4x and negative 4x, that's 0. So the last thing I've got there is minus 8. So this is what I get when I multiply these two things, right? When I multiply the thing I've highlighted in yellow times the thing I've highlighted in green. This is their product.